Hey guys, Top Tech Tips here, and today I'll be showing you how to partition in your Windows 7 hard drive. So the first thing you want to do is open up Computer Management, where you'll start and search Comp Management MGMT dot MSC. Put that in the description, and then just hit Enter. It should load up with something like this here. Just click on Disk Management, and it will say Connecting to Virtual Disk. Once you get in here, if you have one like partition then it will just say one and it will most likely say healthy system boot page file active crash down partition primary partition and that that's just your main partition if you want to shrink that to make another partition just right click on it and click shrink volume it will do this queify i'll just pause it for now until it's done queifying okay it's back it's done uh, queifying so now it's gonna pop up with a window like this it will ask you how much you want to shrink in megabytes right here megabytes and so you just change this up and down and right now it's at the maximum amount I can shrink but let's say I want to shrink it only by like let's say I want to make a second partition on my hard drive for backups of small things like school projects and schoolwork you only need about I don't know maybe one gigabyte so you just put in you even can use 100 megabytes so just put 100 and then it will tell you how much you have how big your hard drive will be after your shrink your primary partition so once you do that just click shrink and it should take I don't know a, a few minutes so I'll just pause and when it's done I'll unpause so it's done shrinking and as you can see right here it created 102 megabytes unallocated now just right click on that and you can click new simple volume or if you already have a second partition and you want to make it bigger right click on the second partition and just sit, click extend so in this case I'll extend it and I didn't realize I already had 495 megabytes so I'll, I'll extend it by that much just go to the max and then click next and then click next and now pretty much instantly it will extend it now we still have this other one here so I already had 400 megabytes and I put that there but with this one I want to put it into a brand new one so I'll just right click on it and click new simple volume a little wizard will pop up like this click next click on what click if you want it to actually be the full size of which unallocated space click next and then you can choose what letter you want it to be so I'll just make this one W and then click next and you want it to be you probably want it to be an NTFS and then a location size just click default and you can name it whatever you want so I'll name it uh, test and then it'll just click perform click format and click next and then click finish and instantly it'll do it pretty much it'll take a few minutes to load and see now it's done so see how it says test and then W just like I chose and now it's a brand new empty it's a brand new empty uh, uh, like a drive pretty much so you can see it's only 99.9 .9 megabytes that's because a little bit of a little bit of it is used up automatically by the system and uh, if you ever want to get rid of it just go back under to test click shrink volume or sorry delete volume click yes and now it'll become unallocated space and then you can use that on your heart on your main one again just click extend and uh, that's it thanks for watching hope you hope I helped see you next week